Today we're going to talk about the new Netflix teen romance show, Summertime. So let's get started. Hey everybody, my name is Justin. I love to watch movies. If you guys love to watch movies too and Netflix during this self-quarantine time, you guys are in the right spot. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming videos. Today we're talking about the new Italian Netflix drama, Summertime. Two young adults from very different backgrounds fall in love during this summer on Italy's coast. This is an eight episode series, your average length of a Netflix show, like 35 to 50 minutes long. And this show definitely took me back to a summer where you are experiencing love and you're just having like a good time in your life and everything just seems to be really easy and just a lot of fun. The show definitely did manage to capture those emotions and those feelings of excitement during a summer. We have our two characters, Ale and Summer, who come from very different backgrounds. Ale, he's into motorsports, he has to please his family. We have Summer, who's more free-spirited. She just started a job at a hotel. She has a younger sister, a lot of friends. She wants to enjoy her summer as well. The show does a good job of introducing our characters separately, giving them a lot of characteristics, building them up throughout the series, and then having them slowly meet and slowly start to build this relationship. And if, but unfortunately, the relationship amongst the two really doesn't feel that strong to the end of the series. I like them individually, so I was really rooting for them to be together, but that unfortunately came too far into the series to where it was almost over, and you got very limited time with them as a couple. They were together for most of the show, but they weren't together like as a couple. They struggled to understand each other, and that's where this kind of two different backgrounds came into play and then they started to really express their feelings for one another and then they fell in love and that's where the show kind of captures their relationship. What I also liked about Summertime is that there's other characters involved in the show and they feel just as strong as Ale and Summer as well. Most of these people are either friends of the two and then we have Summer's mother and younger sister as well. But each character is really good in their own way and they and the show manages to capture what they are doing during the summer too. And most of it is just people falling in love with each other and just having a good free time. But I like that the show is willing to give depth to some other characters, not just our two main characters, Summer and Ale. And the minor characters were integrated well into the show to where you actually like some of them maybe even more than L.A. or Summer. But the show is just a fun series to watch. It feels very upbeat. It's very bright. There's a lot of water. There's a lot of just fun summertime things like drinking and partying and going to the beach and just having an easygoing time. And that's what the show ultimately feels like. The overall tone and atmosphere of summertime really does match the overall story. These two young adults fall in love during the summer. It definitely feels like summer and made me want to just like get outside and just have fun. Not do exactly what everybody was doing in the show. I really like Summertime. I like the characters. I like how they were built up individually throughout the show. I like some of the minor characters as well. Unfortunately, some of the romance scenes came way too far into the series and they could have been built up a little more throughout the series. Nonetheless, I do like them together, but I want to see a little more of the two throughout the series. And the show's just not about them two. Each one has something going on within their life and they do not forget that they're their own person and they have their own struggles as well. Not when they meet one person, their struggles and what they're dealing with in their life just goes away. They still manage to have those and write them into the show and have conclusions for them as well. So before I give you my final thoughts and score for summertime, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to me on YouTube most recently and anybody who's ever subscribed to me. I really do appreciate a lot of the support I'm getting recently and it really means a lot to me 
being on YouTube for many, many years, it's exciting to see this kind of growth now on my channel. And I would say a lot of it is based around all this Netflix content that I've been doing recently, and I have been enjoying watching a lot of Netflix while I'm being self-quarantined at home. I get to have a more of a chance to watch Netflix. So I really do appreciate it, and it really means a lot to me. So thank you guys for supporting the channel. So overall, summertime had a good feel. The atmosphere was a lot of fun. It was really upbeat. I liked the characters. It was a really fun show to watch. I'm going to go ahead and give Summertime a B+. Thank you guys for checking my review for Summertime. Make sure to stay tuned for more up-and-coming Netflix content. My name is Just Watch Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.